Thanks for joining us. Follow us on social media and read our blog posts for more visa and immigration tips. Schengen Visitor Visa How to travel to Europe to visit family and friends A Schengen Visitor Visa is one of the types of Schengen visas that allow you entry into the Schengen area. It is a short stay entry permit issued to visit family members or friends living in any of the Schengen area member states. With a Schengen Visitor Visa, you can remain in the Schengen area for up to 90 days, within a period of 180 days, and travel throughout the member countries, without being subject to internal border checks. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The Schengen Visitor Visa is issued in the form of a sticker affixed to the passport of the traveler. It should be presented to the border guard at the external borders of the Schengen zone. The Schengen Visitor Visa is just one of several types of Schengen visas that allow a visitor entry into the Schengen area. If you need to visit the Schengen area for other reasons, check out our Schengen Visa Types playlist Traveling to the Schengen area amid coronavirus travel restrictions. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, there are travel restrictions set up worldwide that prevent travel for most, separating friends and families for months. Restrictions update regularly, so it is always best to check the travel restrictions or upcoming travel restrictions on the country you wish to visit if you will be allowed to travel. The good news is that there are some exemptions to the ban, like the love contract that many Schengen countries honor in order to let families reunite. If you are unsure about whether you will be allowed to travel to the Schengen area right now, feel free to book a consultation with us and we can check for you. Who needs to apply for a Schengen Visitor Visa in the UK? Any UK citizen who holds a UK passport can travel to the Schengen area for the purpose of visiting family members, friends, or relatives, and visa-free. Keep in mind that the rules on travel have now changed due to Brexit. British citizens can stay in the Schengen area for 90 out of 180 days. If you plan to stay longer or travel frequently in the Schengen area, you will need to apply for a visa. Non-EU nationals Many non-EU nationals who reside in the UK are still required to get a Schengen visa to travel to the Schengen area for the purpose of visiting family members, friends, or relatives. Check out our blog post for the list. The main requirement is that you must have a UK residence permit, valid for at least another three more months, beyond the date you plan to leave the Schengen area. Before starting a visa application, or getting a flight to the Schengen area for visiting family and friends, make sure to check whether you need a visa or not. If you have a three-month UK visa, you can extend it for three more months in order to be eligible to apply for a Schengen Visitor Visa from within the UK. You must apply for an extension before your visa expires and while you're still in the UK. Steps to applying for a Visitor Schengen Visa from the UK. Step 1. Know your visa type and validity. A Schengen visa is a short-stay visa 
that allows a person to travel to any members of the Schengen area for stays up to 90 days for different purposes. Short-term visa. This is the most popular Schengen visa. It allows its holder to visit and stay in a Schengen area for a certain period of time, depending on the visa validity. It is primarily issued for tourism, visiting family and friends, business, and other authorized purposes. It can be provided for single entry, double entry, or multiple entries, depending on the purpose of your travel. If you make a strong case, and the consulate feels that you have a need for it, you may be granted a multiple entry visa. Some factors the consulate will consider, in order to give a multiple entry visa include the need or justification to travel to the Schengen country frequently, your financial status in your country of residence, whether you have adhered to leaving on time during your previous visits, and your authentic intention to leave the Schengen area after your time is up. If you are a frequent traveler, you may apply to obtain an EU visa, valid for up to five years, but you have to keep in mind that you cannot stay within the Schengen area for more than 90 days in a 180-day period of time, even if you hold a multiple entry visa for Europe, valid for up to five years. Step 2. Identify where to make application and book an appointment. If you are planning to visit family or friends in only one country of the Schengen member states, then you will have to simply apply for a visitor Schengen visa at the embassy of that country in your home country. But in cases when you are planning to visit more than two countries inside this area, it may seem puzzling which embassy you have to apply. You do not have to apply at each embassy of every country you are planning to visit. If you are planning to visit two or more countries during the same trip, then you have to apply at the embassy of the country where you plan to spend more time. If you are planning to spend equal time in two or more countries, then you have to apply at the embassy of the country where you will be landing first. Book an interview through the website of the consulate or embassy of the country you are planning to visit in your country of residence. You can book an interview six months before trip at the earliest and two weeks before the trip at the latest. However, we recommend booking your trip at least three weeks before your trip to avoid delays. Step 3. Complete your application form. The Schengen Visa application form contains questions about you, like your full name, date and place of birth, nationality, passport number, and others. If you need to visit and stay with your family or friends that legally reside in the Schengen area, you can then indicate this as your purpose of travel. Make sure your answers are correct and that they comply with the information in the rest of the documents. Complete the form, print it twice, and sign both copies at the end. Step 4. Prepare your documents. What documents are required when applying for a visitor Schengen visa in the UK? The difference between Schengen visitor visa and other Schengen visa types lies in the requirements of the embassy or consulate where you will have to apply. There are some extra documents that you will be required to submit in order to be able to obtain a visitor Schengen visa for Europe. You will need to prepare documents like your valid passport or travel document, a valid UK residence permit, or another form of identity card, your Schengen visa application form, and others. 
The requirements differ, depending on your employment status. If you are a student, and if you are underage, so check out the full list in our blog post. Step 5. Attend your appointment. The visa interview is a meeting between you and the consular officer or interview. During this interview, the consular officer will ask you several questions about you and your intended trip. You will also be submitting the required documents throughout the meeting to the interview. The interview will ask you questions about your trip, your family, work, finance, and personal matters. You should be prepared to answer these questions well. Show up at the appointment center on time. Remember that if you are late, even for a few minutes, they will probably cancel your appointment. You will also have to get your fingerprint scanned at the consulate's office if you have never before applied for a Schengen visa. After your application is verified, the information will be entered into the online consulate or embassy's database, and you will receive a printed copy of your application. After you get the printed form, make sure to verify all the details are correct and sign the form. Underage applicants must be accompanied by their parent or legal guardian. Visa fees for UK residents. When applying for a Schengen visa, there is a non-refundable mandatory visa fee every applicant must pay. The Schengen visa costs vary depending on the type of visa and the age of the applicant, as well as some other exceptions. The Schengen visa fee can be paid in the designated consulate or embassy via cash, debit, or credit card. The fee will depend on your age, your nationality, and other factors. Check out our blog post for the chart. It's important to note that the fees are subject to change without notice and will not be reimbursed in case of visa rejection. Step 6. Receive your visa. Schengen Visitor Visa Application Processing Time in UK How long can the application process take? Most applications for a Schengen Visitor Visa will be processed in around 10 working days, assuming you provide all the relevant information and there's no issue with your application. However, depending on the situation, processing time for a Visitor Visa to Europe might take up longer if there is something extraordinary with the individual case or any political situation is on the go. You can apply as early as three months before your trip and it's advised to not apply later than 15 days before you're planning on arriving to the Schengen country of your choice. Visa application decision. If your application is approved, it will be stamped in your passport Make sure to carefully check the visa sticker to make sure everything is correct and exactly how you need it. If your visa has been rejected, it would have been for a specific reason. You will have the right to appeal. Some common reasons a Schengen visa would be rejected include You applied for the wrong visa. It is not clear that you plan to return to the UK and the purpose of your trip cannot be established. You need to make sure that you submit a strong application so that you have the best chance of having it approved. Find out some tips on how to avoid a visa rejection in our blog post. What if my Schengen visitor visa is rejected? If you receive a negative answer, in your Schengen Visitor Visa application, this does not mean you cannot ever travel to 
to the Schengen area to visit your family and friends. You have two options. File an appeal for Schengen business visa rejection if you believe that the decision to deny you a visa is unjust. You should have a strong basis for your complaint. You can appeal this decision by writing an appeal letter for a Schengen visitor visa rejection or reapply by correcting the mistakes you did in your previous application or improve your situation to comply with the eligibility criteria for a Schengen Visitor Visa. Schengen Visitor Visa Extension You can apply for a short-stay Schengen Visa Extension if you have a reason for doing so. However, you will have very low chances to get one if you do not have a strong reason as the basis of your application. According to the Schengen Visa Policy, acceptable reasons to extend a Schengen short-stay visa are only the following. Late entry, humanitarian reasons, force merger, and important personal reasons. Schengen Visa Extension Application Process Watch out for our future video on how to apply for a Schengen Visa Extension, coming soon. I am can help with your visa application to the United States, the UK, and other countries. If you need help with a US visa, a UK visa, or visa to Europe, including help with appointment booking obligations, I am can help. For more information and advice on US immigration, UK immigration law and US visa applications or if you need any help or assistance please reach out to your visa coordinator at IAM Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates